Let's make these irresistible traditional Italian donuts. If you love Krispy Kreme donuts, I promise you, you will absolutely love these. You won't believe how fluffy and melt in your mouth these donuts are. While these aren't as famous as other Italian pastries, these donuts are iconic here in Italy. They're loved by both kids and adults. Oggi facciamo le ciambelle e i bomboloni. This donut recipe comes from my cookbook, Simple Pleasures, which you can pre-order right now. If you love donuts and pastries and breads and delicious simple food, I think you'll love this book. We're going to make two types of donuts, classic ring donuts called graffe, and incredible filled donuts called bomboloni, or more commonly known here in Rome as bombe. We're going to start with cooking a potato, which simply needs to be peeled, boiled, and finely mashed. I know. I know, are we making donuts or mashed potatoes? Well, both actually. The potato lines the donuts, giving these a unique pillow-like texture. It really takes the idea of melt in your mouth to the next level. I like to think Krispy Kreme stole this recipe from Italy. Krispy Kreme's very first donut recipe used potato although I think they stopped that many years ago. We need the mashed potato to be exceptionally smooth, so it's best to push it through a fine sieve, or a potato ricer will also do the job. In a jug, combine milk, one egg, melted butter, and yeast. You want to give these ingredients a mix and set this to the side. In another bowl, combine flour, sugar, and salt. I like to use zero zero flour. Barilla flour is one of my favorites. Italians have very strong opinions when it comes to barilla, I personally think it's a great flour and it makes the most amazing pastries. You can of course use any type of all-purpose flour you have on hand. You can also mix the dry ingredients directly in your stand mixer. Just make sure to swap the whisk with the dough attachment once you've mixed the dry ingredients. Add some lemon zest, do not leave it out. It adds a subtle zesty and fresh quality to the donuts that's hard to explain. If you've ever had Italian pastries, you know what I'm talking about. We love to add citrusy notes to our pastries. Add the mashed potato, the wet ingredients, and you want to mix on medium low speed until the dough comes together. Then increase the dough to high and continue kneading for another minute. The beauty of these donuts is that they don't need much kneading at all. So once you see a smooth dough, you can stop mixing. If you don't have a stand mixer, head to my website. You can absolutely make this dough by hand. When the dough is smooth, transfer it to an oil bowl. I like to roughly shape it in a ball using wet hands or oiled hands. Cover it and set aside for its first proof, about one to one and a half hours. While the dough is rising, Cut out some squares of parchment paper, a little bigger than the size of the donuts you want to make. My mom was kind enough to help me do that here. She's the master at making bomboloni. The parchment paper will help you maneuver the donuts into the hot oil. Fast forward, when the dough has had its first rise, you're going to turn the dough onto a lightly floured work surface and roll the dough out to about half an inch thickness. Cut out the donuts. You'll find this dough is quite soft, so you want to make sure to flour that donut cutter. You don't want the dough to stick to your cutter. I always get asked where I got my donut cutter, so I've put where you can buy this exact one in the written recipe, which you can find on my website or in the pinned comment below this video. To make the bomboloni, I use a glass. You could also use a cookie cutter if you want, whatever works for you. With this recipe, you should be able to make about 10 massive donuts. I say massive because in Italy, these donuts are quite big. If you've ever had bomboloni or Italian ciambelle, you know those things are massive. Put all the donuts on the squares of parchment paper and set them to the side for their final rise. It will take about another hour to one and a half hours. We're going to fry the donuts in vegetable oil. As mentioned before, the cutout squares of parchment paper are a really great trick because they let you transfer the donuts into the hot oil without touching the delicate soft dough. Remember, this dough is super soft. You're going to fry the donuts in batches at 375 Fahrenheit. We're looking for a golden even color. A lot of times people ask me why their donuts are dark on the outside, but the inside isn't fully cooked. And that's because the oil was too hot. The outside browned really quickly without giving the donuts a chance to cook on the inside. So do not be afraid to play around with the flame. As soon as the donuts come out of the oil, drain them on kitchen paper, and while they're still hot, toss them in granulated sugar. Now let's talk fillings. One of the most iconic Italian fillings is pastry cream or Nutella. I will say for most Romans though, nothing beats 
la bomba la crema, which literally translates to custard bombs. They really are custard bombs. They explode with custard. I do have an amazing pastry cream in my cookbook, and my method is much easier and faster compared to traditional pastry cream. I have shown you in previous videos how to make it, but I will eventually do a more in-depth video on how to make a silky smooth custard. My mom has been making potato donuts since forever. These donuts come out soft and fluffy every single time thanks to the addition of the potato. If you're looking for a foolproof soft and fluffy donut recipe, look no further. In Italy, we eat these fresh and hot. There's no other way. The book is available worldwide. You can pre-order the book at the link below to reserve your copy of the cookbook.